This is Raptor News, and this is a fiery planet burning in our night skies. I believe that it is the planet that is going to fry this earth and, and the beings on this earth to oblivious, you know, and we got to get out of that false prophet bullshit. We are seeing the signs right here that something is going down and it's going down big. You know, somebody said, well, you said something was going to happen on the 10th and I didn't say shit was going to happen on the 10th. I said my wife and my daughter had a dream that something was going to happen on the 10th. That don't mean I made a fucking prediction. I'm very calculated. I'm meticulous and I'm not fucking dumb at all. I would never put myself out there on the line to say, this is going to happen. I'm going to make a prediction because you're a devil making predictions. You know, that's what them damn demons do. They, they make predictions. They predict the future. I'm not trying to predict the damn future. I'm showing you the signs that you need to get your life together right now before you burn up and go to hell because this motherfucker is out here on fire and I felt the heat today it's rain in different places and, and bad shit happening everywhere tornado hit down in uh, freaking Canada I mean it was a clear sky and then everything went cloudy and a tornado came down on their asses you know and so I got two women right here watch they don't know me from dirt they put out their dreams right and, and somebody said wrapped in a you're playing, playing them damn Gentiles dreams. You know, we shouldn't be listening to that. You stupid as fuck. Don't listen to it then, dumbass, and burn up. Because I'm right about this. I stand behind that that's a fire in the sky. I stand behind my testimony. And I stand that is meteorites out there that's getting ready to rain down on you motherfuckers. I stand behind that 100%, you know, without a shadow of a doubt. You know, I don't, I don't take none of that or retract anything that I said. But, you know, I want you to listen to the dreams. Oh, oh let me get back to the dreams. You know, the, the uh, Pharaoh had a dream at the time of, um, what's his name? Joseph, right? And Joseph interpreted that dream. And that dream happened, and that dream came from a Gentile. You stupid motherfucker. Who keep trying to, you stupid motherfuckers that say we don't listen to Gentiles dreams. But then we got Prophet Joseph listening to the Gentiles dreams, interpreting it, and it happened exactly the way he said it was going to happen. We got to stop listening to fucking niggas like you. Who don't know what the fuck they talking about. Always talking out the side of their ass with no damn fucking knowledge, man. Anyway, I want y'all to listen to these dreams. And then we're going to get back to this. There's another object, planetary object. I don't know if it's the moon or a different planet. But it keeps eclipsing the sun. And as it does this, the day is getting dimmer and dimmer. And finally, it eclipses the whole thing and day turns into night. Okay, just like that. Day turns into night, it's pitch dark. And out of the left hand side, I don't know if this is your right, but this is my left hand side, I see a huge planet. And we're talking humongous, like it's covering the entire sky and it's pretty much on us it's not even coming towards us it's on us and um, it's uh, massive um, I could feel the heat emanating from it I could see the ribbons of fire that are jumping off of this planet uh, it looks like Mars but in my spirit I felt like it wasn't Mars um, it's massive it's volcanic and the flames are bright red with fire dancing in a rib in a ribbon like pattern so just like I've been telling y'all for years she said this thing was on fire in the sky she could fe see the fire burning from the planet it came on us just like the Bible said for those things that are coming on the earth so it came down on us and this fire is in the sky 
burning their asses up. It's going to burn all the grass like it said in the scriptures and it's going to burn your asses too. We are feeling what they call global warming. It is changing the course of this planet. Tornadoes are touching down. Floods is happening. Volcanoes is erupting. You name it, it is, it is happening. And we seeing the planet right there in our sky. And then people going to act like something wrong with me for pointing it out. Let's listen to this other dream, man. I was standing, uh, kind of seemed like on a hill, and I was standing with another girl, and I don't know who that girl was, but over the top, we started getting hot, like really hot, and I remember my shoulders burning, and it was almost like I could feel, you know, like, feel the heat on me that my shoulder was actually really hot like something that you would move away from uh, in the shower if you turned it too hot and like you know get out of it real quick um, and I, I know that I felt it on my shoulder I don't know what I was wearing but the girl I was with had on like a tank top so I believe with me being able to feel it on my shoulder like that and her in a tank top that I probably was too. That I looked above and I saw um, this planet that I have been seeing and I, I just knew that this is my quote unquote primary red color planet but this time it wasn't. And it came over our heads. I can't even really put a size perspective on it. Um, I don't know, maybe if you say that the earth is the size of a dime and then this planet was the size of a silver dollar, maybe. Um, or maybe even doubled a silver dollar. It was just huge. And um, it was the color of like when you stoke a fire and how the embers get uh, their blackish orange. This is the color. It was like orange red, but it was like smoking hot fire. So here you have two women who don't know each other they don't know me and we don't know each other at all but we all coming up with the same damn story you know how we doing that you know it's something real about what we seeing you know it's something real about their dreams it's something real about what we seeing right now in the sky but it's also something real about what i'm telling you you know and i don't give a damn if i'm the only one telling you nor was the only one telling his people Lot was the only one telling his people. Jonah was the only one telling those people. You know, sometimes it just takes one person to tell you. You know, and you should listen to us. You see it out there. You know, that thing is burning in our skies. And then there's a whole lot more. So just like I said, you know, we are looking at the signs. Don't don't think I'm date setting or something like that. You know, uh, I am watching uh, planet what they call planet Jupiter. I'm watching that. So I don't even say planets. It's permanent trap. Quit correcting me on goddamn shit, motherfucker. It's planets, goddammit. And I don't give a damn if it says permanents or planets. It's just fucking planets. That's how we know it. You know, it's God. You know, you holy shit, rip the news. Speak pale paleo Hebrew. You know what I mean? And then say, 99,000 English words but that one word Yehoshua this is stupid man people are ignorant they don't even understand the level of their goddamn ignorance check this out man I'm shooting a video of this at Walmart parking lot and it's a perfect circle with the lights around it in the parking lot this is a fake video you can see my kids it's the strangest thing I've ever seen there's no reflection, there's no anything, it's just coming down. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. What? It's not moving, it's just sitting perfectly still, right above the clouds. So what is that? You're going to get all these idiots to tell you that's Project Blue Beam, 
right is that the outline of a planet is that the mothership coming to pick up the chosen we don't know what it is because we have never been here folks but at least I'm doing my due diligence at least I'm saying look folks something out there man God is here the angels are here the time is nigh you can see it you know we never saw that in the sky before it's 12 dots on there the last time I checked if it's more it's more but I counted 12 you know that's a sign of something come on people we gotta snap out of it you gotta stop listening to the knuckleheads and the, 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 the clowns in the comments saying clownful things man I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best to warn my people and I, it ain't just my people I'm warning Gentiles alike you know and you know just like I said sometimes I say harsh things because I'm talking to devils people you know and that's how I do it you know the majority of people I'm talking to are devils they have to wake up and snap the fuck out of it you gotta holler at them man and you just do because they that far gone and that far asleep they gotta be choke awoke you know what I'm saying they gotta be choke awoke man and you know it's, it's bad and so just like I said I don't mean nobody no harm you listen to my show long enough I don't mean you harm Gentile I don't mean you harm my people I don't mean you no damn harm I admonish and I bring you these signs and you know I'm warning you and that's what I am this is my duty this is my job from my Lord and I'm just doing the best I can but damn if that ain't a fucking ship out there huh Excuse my damn stupid stinking English. <sighs> but something wrong, huh? We need to get it together right now. And here we go again. Bam. Those lights. You would think they're the lights that come from the streets to, to get people to go to a grand opening or something. This is another grand opening. This is the grand opening to the kingdom of God. You know, these are that's what those lights are right there. Somebody gonna say Project Blue Beam. That's what they're gonna say. Project Blue Beam. And they're gonna be a project. What? Just think about this, man. The government's is broke. They're gonna spend trillions of dollars to put some lights above in the sky just so they can play with y'all minds a little bit. Oh, we play with their minds. They don't know what it is, folks. That's just stupid. They don't have nothing to do with what's going on up, up above our heads. They don't even have the power to do that right there. They just don't. You know. And if they did have the power to do anything like that. Why in the fuck would they? We, we got you. You know. We got you guys going. We're going to make you think it's aliens. It's stupid man. Our time is up people. That's all I'm trying to show you. Forget these nuts. Oh you sent a date. Oh, I never said date you stupid fucking cunt hole. I never fucking set dates, man. I say dates, but that I don't. And this is edged in stone right here, folks. Uh, I set a date. This is ah, oh, God. People are damn so ignorant. They want to prove you wrong so bad because they mad because you smacked they fucking fake Jesus in the face. That's all they. When people, when you find people mad on my site and thumbs in the down and all that, it's because you talked about they fake ass damn God. And they know you telling the truth about his fake whack ass. Let's look at something else, man. So here go another one. Circular object in the sky. It ain't just some black ring up there. It's lights flashing around the black ring. You know. So it's something here, people, ready to get us at any time and any moment. And we need to be ready for what's, whatever is finna pop off, man. You know. And so that's all I'm doing. I'm warning you. I'm telling you to correct scriptures. You know, I'm, I'm doing my best, man. And that's all I can do. And like I said, uh, I'm not on your payroll, dude. You know, I'm doing it from the kindness of my heart. And I continue doing it from the kindness of my heart, God willing. You know, but we right here at the end. And I don't want you to be lost. I, I want you to be saved. Believe in the most high God of Israel. Stop with all the false belief in these paganistic religions and get your life together with God. Repent. Strap the news. Love y'all, man.